I'm not worried about nighttime. I'm worried about my food. I've got a knife. By the way, I realized that for some reason, the first aid kit can't go into a quick slot. So if I need to use it in an emergency, I'll just have to open the PDA, okay? I'm just letting you know now. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. I'm not sure if I prefer being in the water or on land. I don't like this. This looks like a gate. What the hell? We didn't even look around the island yet. Oh. No one's here, but very clearly, the turret and whatever was still working. Oh shoot, what if, if I came here earlier, I could have turned off the turret? Unknown language, attempting translation. Alien data terminal, discovered inside an alien facility. It was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid-state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected. Sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device, and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy, telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Assessment, further research required. Some kind of a mental computer. Like the way to interface with it is mentally? I got it already. I can't click on it. Am I gonna have to start learning new languages while I live here? PDA, I'm counting on you. Don't touch. We don't know what it is. Ion cube. This green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it, likely grown artificially. Cubic appearance suggests it has been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. Okay! Under the right conditions, the energy could be released in a controlled manner. Likely used as batteries, but would require a substantial power source to be recharged. Valuable energy source. Okay, I touched it. I touched it. High capacity alien energy source. Oh. Can't help but notice that it's the same kind of green as the infection on the stalker. And I assume... The infection within me is also green. Huh? What do you want? Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. It just jumped out, right? Yeah, it's... Hmm. It's reacting to something. Distance? These ones aren't moving, though. It might be like a automatic light. 
of some kind. I do feel like we should be keenly aware that this place... We're basically inside a turret right now. Hopefully I can't shoot inside, but you know, we still have to be... very careful. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Enforcement platform schematic. This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Construction material. The facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Power. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant, located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Layout. The facility consists of the upper engineering section, where the schematic was found, and the control room, which is accessed via a security-sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. Control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. Yeah, installed security measures. Something we might have to be a bit worried about. This is basically a brochure, a guide to the place that we're in right now. I'm not sure if we really learned too much by reading this. It's all very alien. It looks like if we keep going down, there might be a control room of some kind, but we don't know how to... Your best probability of interfacing with this facility yeah. is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. I have very high... Oh! Okay. I was gonna say, I didn't want to drop down because that felt like death. I was gonna go back, but I'm glad they made the choice for me. Okay, food. How are we doing on food? We might want to walk a little bit faster. I have one peeper, that's all I got for food, and it's not even cooked. Yum. Is this water? Oh! That somehow feels familiar. Maybe we can get out via the bottom then. We don't have to go back up. We're far away from home, and I don't like it. Okay, you know what? Let's turn off all of the other ones right now. All I need is my life pod. I want to spend time looking around carefully, but I also want to keep in mind that we're... we don't have food. So I'm not gonna, um, look into every little corner. I'm gonna try and pick and see what we can actually finish looking around here. This place is pretty big, but we never have the... we never got the sunbeam location mart, so I'm a little bit scared we won't be able to come back again, but it should be okay. This place is gigantic. From a distance, we should be able to see it. Especially the turret. How could I ever forget? Wait, is this a way to go back up again? Oh, I can run! I can run! I've been in the water so long, I didn't even know we could run. What the... Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you want? Doomsday device. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. 
It's stuck. It's stuck. Well, it does op- This building operates a turret. Is the turret the main purpose of the building? I don't think we know. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. And then hurry up then. Oh, that's gotta be it. I don't want to run out of food and die. Because then all of our progress would be reset. We really, really have to be careful here. I might even want to eat this peeper right now, because I can't cook it anyway. I don't think. Oh! That kind of looks like a retina scan. I don't like it. Control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Infected individuals may not operate, may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. What does that mean? It means... This turret? The weapon is a turret, right? The one that shot down the sunbeam. We are not letting the sunbeam land here because this planet is infected. And if we let you land here, there's a possibility that you'll bring the infection elsewhere to the rest of the system. Is that how I should read that? Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to databank. But for as long as I'm infected, this is not going to work then. Ow. Yeah, we have to become uninfected. Which ones did we just get? I know I opened one earlier. Energy core. This device houses energy equivalent to a 100 megaton. Nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. In orbit! Yeah, the sunbeam was so close, but it totally could have gone the aurora. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. So maybe the aurora accidentally got a bit too close. Uh, which one did we just get? I know we got two, right? Oh. Alien facility locations. <gasps> There's other places on the planet. Disease research facility. Depth. 800 meters. In a cave system with extensive fossil record. Synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium. Cara. Okay, so these are probably places we want to eventually go to. Thermal power facility. 1200 meters inside a natural rock formation in an area with volcanic activity. Sanctuary A, data corrupted. Sanctuary B, data corrupted. Offsite laboratory, corrupted. Primary containment facility. <laughs> what does that even mean? Containment of what? Of dangerous things? In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection off-world. Yeah, okay, so exactly as we thought then. Which means, we are not getting rescued unless we figure out what's happening here. Okay, but uh, I'm still thinking about that containment thing because what they're saying here is there's an outbreak. There's an outbreak of the infection, but what's the source of the infection? If it's something like a virus, okay, kind of scary, but what if it's something like aliens? Like an outbreak of dangerous creatures? That'd be a lot more scary.
I think that's all that we have here. Our food is still doing okay. Did we come from here? Hmm. Well, okay. I think we should go. Yeah. Can we go out here? I gotta go back to... That side. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency oh my decreased. Dear. Sure. Oh. But well, you saw that thing again, right? It was here. It was here. That thing. Wait. Wait, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> uh, mm, but it's the easiest way for me to go back. We're actually so deep right now. Um. Is it possible for me to No. Is it possible for me to go back up the It is. But you know what? I feel like for the sake of seeing more new things, we should be going out that way anyway. Going out this way would be the easy way. Going out that way would be the scary way. And if anything bad happens... Well... Better get the flare ready, huh? Okay, let's go then. We have a sea glide. Let's eat the peeper. Eat the peeper. Drink some water. And then... I have a lot of med kits. I mean, but it's not really gonna do too much. Okay. My goal is not to sightsee, it's to go back home. I know there was a thing here already. I saw it. Okay. I know there are- Frieza! Nope, bye, bye, bye! I know if we stand still, we're gonna get caught in that thing. We'll have a chance later, okay? Not this time. Yeah, there's a lot of related facilities here. Are we back out? Oh, keeper. Okay, maybe I don't have to worry about food as much. Okay, ah! What, what? Yeah, getting back out? Okay, that's actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be then. You want me to scan this? I don't know why my scanner is kind of freaking out right now. Remember that materials you gather are the property of the All Time Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. Okay, something strange is happening with my inventory. I think I'm gonna save and reset. We good? Okay. We should probably head back to read that radio signal. It's probably somebody else wanting my help, but I can't really help them because I'm helpless. The sunbeam's not coming to get us. Should I bring you home? Can I even pick up that thing? I don't know, it's kind of scary. Mm, I want to look around the place a bit more, because we've only seen this building here, but the rest of the island... I think it would be nice if we can at least do one big circle around. But at the same time, my inventory right now is pretty dang full already, and I've got a food issue. Diamond! Sea carbon allotrope with superlative physical properties. Oh, very valuable in modern society, but not sure how good it is gonna be here. Well, I can get fish from the sea, directly, but if we eat it uncooked, probably water is gonna become our next constraint, because this is too salty. Hmm, we can look around a little bit more. If push comes to shove, we can probably just dump the salvage. It's not important. Earlier, we found the purple tablet on the little raised area here, but I haven't even finished looking around yet. There's gotta be more in this place. Yeah, 
these like connector cables. I guess all these lights are powered by that ionic cube thing we picked up. It's a good thing it didn't explode in my hands or something, but... Oh! The Aurora's right here! Well, how do we never see it then? This place is so big! Maybe it's just too far away? But theoretically, if we look beyond the horizon, shouldn't we immediately see any island sticking out? Maybe not. Oh, I'm kind of worried about the daytime too. I don't want to be stranded in a scary island in the middle of the dark. Self-scan complete. Bacterial oh. infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. We kind of already know what it is. It's probably that one thing they mentioned in the data logs. And to fix it? To get uninfected. We probably have to go to the facility. No. The codes and clues. Disease Research Facility? But it didn't give us an actual location though. It just says it's 800 meters deep. In a cave. Southwest of Enforcement Platform. So if we find Enforcement Platform, maybe we can use that to find it. But as it is, this information here is probably not good enough. Kara. Okay, so we'll just live with the infection for now. Itchy skin? Not so bad. I mean, even if it is so bad, there's not much we can do about it anyway, so... Better start living with it. <laughs> okay, if we want to look around, it's nice to gather resources, but that's not really why I came here. I want to look around and find new stuff. Ah! Let's... Let's eat a fish. I just eat the fish right now. Whatever. Is there more to look around in the island itself, though? This is going up. I don't have room for all this. Ah, uh, well, just wait a little bit more. I can probably drink some water again. No, we should go back ASAP. Store the stuff we have and then come back. From the life pod? It's kind of in a... North to northeast direction. Yeah? Judging by the compass. Oh, wow. <sighs> Frick. Lithium or titanium? I think lithium is probably less rare. I mean, more rare. Does that just go out? Oh, if I run, I can't hold my tool in front of me. I don't like that. It just goes out again? Hey, earlier we scanned this tree. Bulbo tree. Bulbo tree. Flora? Exploitable? Oh, bulbo tree. A bulb-based flora which roots to the ground and sprouts turquoise leaves. Analysis suggests the sap produced by this plant is poisonous to insects, but can be harvested and consumed by humans for its high water content. Edible. Edible. Wait, did I did I slash you earlier? Probably should take a slice and bring you back home. Oh yeah, freak man. Oh, okay. Goodbye, salvage. Goodbye. Oh, this is gigantic too. Oh, what? I can eat it right here. A mature flora specimen will grow if planted in the right conditions. Oh. Okay, maybe my food issues aren't really going to be an issue anymore. Mmm. I definitely... Well, let's eat one right now. But I definitely want to bring some back home too. How many samples can I get from one tree? Is it infinite? Well, two is probably enough for now. We don't have room for more. Oh, dang. That's awesome. Hey, there's another tablet. 
Do we need that many? Probably, right? Because if we get more tablets... Hold on. It's like another floor up. Maybe I should go around outside? Because the ones that we use, they get used up entirely. We don't get them back. If we can get more... That'll probably be a good thing. Uh, I don't think this is the way to getting more, though. Maybe that's a different way. Well, PDA said we don't know what to do with the lights for now. We don't know what the purposes are, but what if it's like some kind of teleporting thingy? Because I feel like it's kind of suspicious that it's shining right down on the purple tablet. If I can somehow like drop down from there, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, like these things, right? It's kind of sh we are so active. You're so active. You're aggressive, right? Oh yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna. Oh! Oh, it's so dark here without the flashlight. Like, if I try standing on this, can I... Is it too good to be true? No. No teleportation happening. Oh, jeez, man. Yeah! That's what I thought. If we're a true scientist, we should be bringing a specimen back home. I think there's more around. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh. Pink cap. You know, I feel a little bit better with a radiation suit on, but before, when we were here, we were just touching stuff with our bare hands. That seems like it's a pretty bad plan, but we're doing it anyway. Dude, stop. Go away. Sorry. I'm sorry. I don't... Ooh, speckled rattler. This kind of sets off my trypophobia too. I don't like it. My skin is crawling. A brittle land plant containing large spores which generate a characteristic rattle when the plant is shaken. This may act to ward off predators or even encourage predation as a means of spreading the spores. Pink cap. A land-based fungus species with harvestable spores and edible. Mmm, harvestable, but inedible. Well, I've got one. Maybe that's enough for now. Oh! Diamonds come from shale outcrop? I like the noise you're giving me, because it sounds like I'm doing something good. So I feel like I should keep trying to get this. Ah, should I eat one more? It's taking up a lot of space. No, we can drink water. Hey, 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 hey! Yeah, it keeps giving me that noise. It's telling me I'm doing something right. Something valuable. <laughs> oh, I don't... I don't have room. What did I do? The poster! Natural Selection 2. I've never even played Natural Selection 2. Um... Man, okay, I'll eat a- I'll eat a tree sample. We can always come back. We can always come back. Those things are just so damn big. Okay, so this means we're gonna be leaving without getting that tablet then. Wait. Oh, all we gotta do is walk up here. That's it. No teleportation. <laughs> well, that's good. It's not like we can keep one, we just use one. If we see one, that's it. Stop, I know you. Please stop! <gasps> ow! Ow! Maybe you're attacking me because I'm attacking you though. Yeah, there's stuff here. There's stuff on this island. I just don't necessarily... The day might be setting soon. Everything's getting all scary looking. Is this the same place? Oh, wait, what? I feel like we're stumbling upon something even bigger now. What in the world? I don't have room for this. <sighs> look, look around for now. 
Oh, this is definitely another purple tablet location, right? Feels like it. Alien Arch. The structure's intended purpose is unclear. Theories on function, ceremonial or religious role, industrial applications, advanced transportation network. Wherever these people are, they're not here anymore. The alien people. But maybe they're doing something that we don't even comprehend because they're so much smarter than us. Oh. Uh, should I? I can. Maybe let's have a look around first. Should I? I mean, this part doesn't seem to be related to the... the turret specifically, but I don't... Energy source, though. Is this a good idea? Okay. Oh my god. Can I have that back? No. Um, I don't think we should touch this. But we have to. We activated it. We have to touch it. Oh, this is definitely some kind of teleportation portal. What? Wait, what? Am I in the same place? But this is not the same place. Did we just get another radio signal? Okay, you know what? I really feel like this is too big for me to keep going right now. If we keep going, we're just gonna find more stuff that I can't pick up. Why don't we... Okay, let me finish looking around in this room. Oh, there's there's these like tablets around here too. Anything substantial though? But this is definitely a different location, right? I don't think I saw these things here before. Where are we? Uh, where is my... Okay. Uh, distance-wise... multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Oh my god. Uh, I think it's a little bit too risky to do this. Part of being a good scientist, a good survivalist, probably means that we have to assess the situation properly and determine, no, this is... Oh, this is amazing. Why can't I scan you? Why are you glowing? Well, it's nighttime now. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. I'm getting entranced by this place. This is not. Are we gonna be okay? Grub basket. An orange-colored land plant which usually contains a thick, protein-rich sludge at its base. This may suggest a carnivorous life cycle, wherein grubs and insects are attracted to the bright petals, make their way to the center of the plant, but are unable to scale back up to the slick inner leaves and are ultimately digested. It kind of looks like a hand. I guess I shouldn't touch it then, right? Voxel shrub. Hey, we should be grabbing a sample of all of this. A pink-leafed plant with an angular appearance, which grows exclusively on land. Okay, so these things aren't filed under exploitable, so I'm not as worried about picking it up. But I feel like we should, if we can 
afford the space. <laughs> Which we can't. Mm. Okay, well, I'll just leave it alone for now then. We know how to come back. Oh my god, what is that purple stuff? It's so... Mm, I feel like it's so vibrant here. Everything. It scares me a little bit. Wait, what? Wait. Am I somewhere else entirely? I don't remember the aurora looking like that. Like we're on another side of the aurora? Ah, uh, Because earlier I was looking at the life pod, thinking, oh, 1300 meters away, that seems about right. But then, is it 1300 meters on the other side? That would make sense if it's some kind of a teleportation device. Okay, now I'm kind of scared. Ew, you look... Ming plant. A hardy specimen which grows on land. The vase-like trunk protects the root system from predation and self-repairs over time, explaining the characteristic cracks on the side. A vase. We do have a sea glide, but I don't think it's a good idea to swim back, especially in the dark. We can either wait this out a little bit until daytime. Yeah, I don't think we're on the same island anymore. It looks like it might be related, but I don't think so. Oh, I feel like I've bitten off a little bit more than what I can handle. One good thing is that it doesn't seem like there's any predators around, especially given the nighttime. But you know what? I definitely... Let's take this step by step, okay? Uh... Okay. 1300 meters away. If I go back here, is it still gonna be 1300 meters away? Oh, jeez. It went right through. <laughs> Oh, my shadow is scary. 800 meters away. On a different side though, right? That's the main thing. Is that side... What, it's not as dark here. Or is it just me? I don't even know where we're going. Where are we? Yeah, that's the usual view of the aurora we get, but the impression that I got from the view that we got earlier is that that island was like over there, beyond this. That's really far away. Oh my god, I want to explore, but we gotta go. We gotta go. Does the daytime differ across the place? Because it definitely seemed way darker over there. It's not as bad here. Mm, this is where we were earlier. I think we should just swim back. Hope we don't die. We haven't finished looking around, but I'll definitely remember to come back to this place. I mean, I have to because there's so much going on here. Forget about the life pods. Forget about other people. All I want to do is look at these glowing trees and whatever. <laughs> there's a lot. Do I have enough battery to... Let's just beeline back. I don't want to look around too much. I mean, I do, but we're not equipped for it, is what I'm worried about. Plus, I want to go back and make the laser cutter and stuff, too. Oh, it seems really deep here, though. I'd definitely love to look around. Maybe next time. I don't need you right now, do I? I think it might be a good idea to get into the habit of just not 
looking forward, but a little bit around too. Sometimes things seem to come up out of nowhere. Oh, you're Hookfish. I saw you before. I thought you were new. Oh, it's so deep here. There's so much going on. Frick. Man. Oh, stalkers, you're such a familiar and welcome sight. Okay, maybe not the sound. Again. Oh, oh I can't even pick it up. Okay, whatever then. Leave it alone. And yeah, this region seems a lot more familiar. Now, oh, this would have been so nice to have the beacon fragment. So we can make a beacon and mark down all these places that we're going to. And then we'd be able to definitively know where that teleportation thing went. But right now... Not right now. Are we close to home? We definitely should be. Basically, that island is beyond Life Pod 3. I think we're pretty near that area right now. Sea Glide. Which I can't take. 30 seconds. Oh! Wait, what is that? Oh, there's another wreckage here. I don't think I've seen this one before, right? Dude, how big was the Aurora? This is... There's so much stuff. Everywhere. Oh, I probably need the laser cutter. Dang it. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll try my best to remember where this is. It's kind of hard. I know the general direction. I just don't know the specific place. Back to the same story. If we can find that one wreck again with the beacon, the beacon fragment and all that, then I'll be set. If we want to do that, maybe I want to like stay up a little bit more so I can keep a lookout. Oh! Oh! Is it this place? Looks really promising. Yes! 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 Oh, there were so many here, too! Yes! Wait, if I scan it and the titanium, I can't pick it up? Does it just disappear? That kind of sucks. Where is the grav trap? I know it's around here somewhere. There is a grav trap fragment. It's a circle. Maybe it's not the same wreck I was thinking of? Okay, I'm not gonna bother scanning it for now then. Whenever we need... Titanium, we can come back. Oh, they really want me to make the sea glide. Oh! Here we go. Here we go. And there's even more beacon fragments! There's so many here! Okay, before going back, it might be worth looking up right now what it costs to make a beacon then. I really want to make one. Beacon. Purple tablet. Ion cube and diamond times two. Hey, got some diamonds. Do I have an ion cube? Oh, I have three. I mean, I used one. I have two more. Propulsion cannon. Laser cutter, cave sulfur. Okay, laser cutter, I can make it! Great! But it also needs two diamonds. Which I do have, so it's okay. Grav trap, artificial gravity to attract light objects and small creatures. For eating or what? Scanner room upgrades. That's right, we can make a scanner room now. What is a scanner room? Locates resources and wrecks within range. Okay, that could be incredibly useful too. Composite plant pot. 
Designer pot containing synthetic soil. <laughs> no, the beacon. The beacon. Where is the beacon? Camera drone. No, stop getting distracted. <laughs> the beacon. The beacon. Did I pass it already? Here. Navigation aid. Maintains and broadcasts its position. Configurable name. Oh, it's the the same constraint as always. Copper ore. Hmm. If we can find a copper ore before we go back, that'll be ideal. But what it means is we gotta make a beacon every time we want a new signal, right? Every single place that I want to mark, I need a new one. Hmm. Okay, let's not worry too much then. We'll just go back and hopefully make some of this new stuff. Expand our home a little bit. We have a scanner room, which should be nice, but on top of being nice, probably it'll mean bigger walking area. Because right now, we've still been walking around in tubes, which is not really like a living place. It's not a habitat. 